Welcome back to the show. Baton Rouge's thriving art community hosts a diverse group of artists, styles, and backgrounds. This artist's career, spanning three decades, has touched the lives of countless others and is culminating in a new exhibit downtown. Courtney Lane Brewer has the story. Randall Henry's 30-year career can be described in the two words titling his new exhibition, Soulful Journey. Think about the journey that it took. Now I'm using those forms in my work and a 30-year collection of words. It's, it's, it's a sofa journey. Just It's a really great journey making works of art. And this really has been a sofa journey for me. The Louisiana artist recently opened his exhibit at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum, culminating a storied career. His unique abstract art that brings together aspects of tribal art and American surrealism has impacted artists in Baton Rouge for decades. I also love that fact, like we're drawing a different audience. And he's a local Baton Rouge artist, like what is there not to love about that? Henry was born in New Orleans and moved to Baton Rouge at a young age, getting his undergraduate degree from Southern in 1979. His fascination with art and unique shapes and colors goes back as long as he can remember. When my father and mother brought us to a street fair, the man came up to the car selling balloons. And he flew this nice looking balloon up, it had colors on it. As he was blowing it, the colors formed really nice shapes. And I like the way the colors appear to be, you know, forming just forming nice designs. And I reached a quarter out of my pocket to him to buy a balloon. In the Baton Rouge art community, Henry is known for his unique use of color and form, inspiring the next generation of young abstract artists. People are so jazzed up about this work. Like normally people are more into the representational stuff. So like just like personally, it's like it means that abstract artists can get that kind of attention and that kind of audience. Henry now teaches at Southern full time where he could indulge in his second passion educating the world of art to minority groups. I love working with students, and I've taught many, many students in the visual program that we had at Southern University, and um, I've shown their works too. I put on really big shows for my students. With the opening of the gallery, Henry and the museum alike hope to spread these unique works to an even wider audience. The exhibit is currently running at the LASM and will be on display through May 31st, 2020.